What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. And make sure you get the ebook, 10 Things That Define Every King. Links are going to be in the description. Now, today we're going to talk about the power of self confidence. Simply put, if you're going to the gym, bro, and you feel and you telling yourself because first and foremost self confidence within the in the mental aspect literally will be able to boost what you're being able to do on the physical level you having the spiritual confidence within yourself the faith within yourself will translate into your physical reality basically what i'm saying is this before you lift the weight you have to be able to tell yourself and believe that you can lift the weight because if you if you get down there on that bench press and you contemplate battling your mind whether you can lift this weight or not i guarantee that you're gonna be struggling you might not even lift it but if you sit down on that bench and you tell you and before you even sit down you tell yourself i'm gonna dominate this weight there's no way that i'm gonna sit down right here and i'm not gonna lift this weight when you go down there you're gonna lift that weight up but if you're like, I don't know if I can lift it, or if you're scared, you know what I'm saying, when you when you lift it, you're going to have a harder time. Now, of course, it goes into, you know what I'm saying, proper training and strength and form and all that other stuff, but it also comes down to confidence. If you feel like, if you feel like, if you walk around with the mindset of, I can get every woman in the world, are you going to get every woman in the world? No, but you won't care about rejection, so therefore you will have an abundance mindset you won't have a scarcity mindset you won't feel you won't feel like you lost the word if a girl cheat on you you'll just move on to the next girl because what are you gonna do to change her ways nothing you know what i'm saying so self-confidence and self-belief in yourself is going to be that boost the extra source of motivation to be able to just get you through things that you don't see yourself being able to do because if you don't take leaps of faith if you don't have the faith and confidence within yourself you're not gonna do a lot of things you're gonna act like a girl you're gonna act like a little wimp and you're not there's a lot of stuff that's gonna hold you back first and foremost if you're listening to other people that are doubting you and you're listening to what they're saying and you're accepting that as true you're not a real man because why are you listening to somebody who is not doing the stuff that you're supposed to be doing why are you listening to somebody who's not in the field that you're in you know what i'm saying why would you listen to somebody that's down talking your dreams and look at the life that they live in do it really make sense to take their advice or to listen to what they're saying no you know what I'm saying? You have to have the belief in yourself to be able to do these things. That's why you have to get in isolation and you have to really reprogram your mind in order to forget about this weak mindset that they have programmed you to have since you were born, since day one, since birth, and remove that and reconstruct your mindset with the mindset of a king, with the mindset of a dominant man, with the mindset of a masculine man to the point where you can just go out and just do whatever you want in this lifetime with the faith that you will be guided in your own divine path to be able to have the tools, the mindset, the resources to be able to provide and sustain the lifestyle that you desire to live. Do that make, type, do that make any type of sense? But a lot of men walk around here scared. Walk, a lot of men walk around here like cowards. A lot of men walk around here complaining. A lot of men walk around here acting just like a woman, maybe even in a lower state than a woman, and they point fingers and they don't understand the reason why. You have to look in the mirror because you're scared, because you're weak, because you don't apply yourself, because you don't hold yourself accountable. And to the bottom line, to the to last little T, because you, you don't believe in yourself to be able to do the things that you need to be able to do. Therefore, you can't go out and do anything in life. You don't believe that you can make that money, so you stay broke. You don't believe that you can change your situation, so you live day to day in the same paradigm. You don't believe that you can get this girl, so you don't go and shoot your shot. You don't believe that you can dig her guts out, so you got performance anxiety. You don't believe that you can lift that weight up, so you've been lifting and struggling with this same weight for three months. So you haven't put on no muscle. You don't believe that you can lose weight, so all you're doing is getting fatter. The list goes on. You don't believe that you can get another woman, therefore you, do, you stay with her throughout whatever she puts you through because there is no self-belief. You're not confident that you can get another woman, so you settle for this average lifestyle. You don't, you're not confident in the work that you're putting in, so you give up after two weeks. You're not confident in the results that you could obtain or the money that you could obtain, so you feel as if you're gonna be stuck at this nine to five job for the rest of your life. That's a weak mindset. You have to embody abundance. You have to embrace the unknown. Okay, if I keep doing this, then it's gonna get me there. If you know what I'm saying? Okay, if she cheat on me, it don't matter because there's way more women out here. Okay, if I keep on improving my life, okay, if I keep going to the gym, it's going to help me become more confident. Therefore, I'm going to just go out and dominate. Therefore, women are going to send me choosing signals. Therefore, it's going to make dating easier for me just because I have my physique on point. But I have a confident, abundance mindset. So therefore, I can go up and approach any woman and not care what the outcome is. Obviously, I want her to say yes. Obviously, I want the number or I want to set up a date. I want to dig her out, whatever the case may be. But if she say no, if she not messing with me, it don't matter. I'm on to the next. Some of y'all just 
have this it's the end of the world mentality of life don't go your way you think life is supposed to go all according to your way and you're supposed to be happy all the time you think everything's supposed to go your way when you have the mindset that you have right now when you live the way that you live right now you think everything is supposed to go your way are you really serious right now you have to really sit and apply yourself you have to sit and self-assess and realize like, and be like okay i gotta start doing stuff differently and you have to start from the inside out you cannot change your life from the outside in bro your mindset is still the same you still have this weak scarcity lack mentality therefore you're not going to see any type of physical change in your life you got to ask yourself why do i lack so much confidence why do you care what that woman has to say why do you care what anybody has to say about what you got going on in your life as if they control it as if they gonna put the work in for you why are you so confident in the opinions of other people why are you not confident in what you can do in the bedroom why are you not confident in being able to lift that weight why are you not confident in the money that you could make and you think as if somebody's just gonna come and give you some type of handout no you have to stop being this passive aggressive type of man and go after what it is that you want of course you're gonna bump your head sometimes of course you're gonna take a loss but when you translate that loss into a lesson you understand that it's gonna get you to the next level obviously you have to go through hardship and adversity because those are motivating factors to improve you to use as fuel to get to the next level but most of us we go through adversity or we go through trials and tribulations and we want to sit out in the corner and cry and huddle up like a girl if you want to do that that's on you but me as a man me as an individual within my own life bro adversity fuels me and motivates me doubters fuel me and motivate me you get what i'm saying not being able to have everything figured out and being able to actually have to put the work in motivates me and fuels me because i don't want no handouts i didn't i didn't ask for anything to be easy because what do i look like taking the easy way out you appreciate things more when you earn them and you have the confidence that you can obtain them when all odds are against you but when you sit up and you cry and you point fingers and you complain all day, you're going to understand that more and more things are going to be stripped and taken away from you on a physical level. And even though on an emotional level, your happiness is going to be taken away from you. Your peace is going to be taken away from you. But when you understand that, that heartbreak is supposed to fuel you and motivate you to build your confidence and build your self-worth up and your personal character development so you can become a better individual, so you can become a better man. And you understand that you don't put your all into no woman. That you don't put your that a woman doesn't you know what I'm saying that a woman's life doesn't revolve around you you see what i'm saying that you don't pedestalize her because your peace happiness money finances resources purpose etc come before a woman when you enhance all those things the women come and they're ready to submit to you but when you submit and you bow down to any and everything your boss your job you get what i'm saying your homeboys whatever the case may be you're not a man for real when you lack confidence, how can she be confident in you? How can she be comfortable around you? How can she submit to you when well, you're not even a confident individual? If something was to happen in life and you're supposed to protect her, if you're not confident, she's not going to look for you to you for help. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand and really just be real with yourself in life, bro. You as a man, why do you lack confidence? You lack confidence because you don't apply yourself in life. You just go through the motions. You know what I'm saying? You want extraordinary results and extraordinary goals out of your life, but you don't do anything extraordinary at all. And it does not make any sense. And you really sit and you are confused as if that's supposed to be the case. As if you're supposed to just receive things and you don't put no work in. As if she's supposed to just bounce on you and you haven't done anything. As if the money's supposed to be just placed in your hand and you haven't put any work in. You're supposed to serve, bro. We're here for service. We're here to bless other people. We're here to make an impact on society too. But first and foremost, we have to make impact on ourselves to be able to make impact on other people. How do you think you can change the world? How do you think you can change anybody else if you don't change yourself? Sit and ask yourself that. If you're not confident in the work that you're doing, there will be no result. There will be no return on your investment. When You, when you, you got to think about it. The stock market, Bitcoin investment, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? These people are just investing these things. You think if they're not confident that they're not going to get a return on the investment that they're going to invest? You know what I'm saying? What are the chances? What are the greater chances of them being able, given that, okay, they understand the market, they understand the risk that it comes with it. But what do you think? You know what I'm saying? Do you think that they'll have, do you think they'll have a better return if they're just confident that they throw this money in and they're going to get a good return? Or do they going to have a better return if they just, ah, uh, man, I'm scared, man. I don't, I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I should do this. Certainty. You must have certainty in your life as a man. You must be direct and you must have direct motivation with what you're doing. Why do you lack confidence as a man? You must maximize on all your options or maximize on all your opportunities throughout your life so you can become the best operating individual day in and day out. It is literally as simple as that. You must acquire more faith so you can be able to have motivation and confidence in the things that you're doing that you cannot see. But throughout the consistency in your work, you understand that you will be shown these things in due time. You have to have confidence in your own acts, in your own voice, in your own mouthpiece, in your own sexual, you know what I'm saying, in the sexual aspect to the point where you understand that I'm going to take her soul. And that's what you do. Not, 
What if I buzz quick? What if she don't like me? She don't like you and you are going to buzz quick because your mindset has already made that an option. If it's not an option in your mindset, how could it possibly happen? When I'm interacting with this, when I'm interacting with a woman, I'm not thinking about what if I buzz quick or what if she don't like me? I'm thinking about, I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about her looking at me like a freaking god. I'm thinking about I'm finna take her soul and that's literally what I do. When I go into the gym, I'm not thinking about what if I can't lift this weight or what if it's too heavy or I don't feel like going to the gym. I'm thinking about going in the gym and literally dominating and lifting any weight that I decide to put up. You get what I'm saying? Because that's the type of mindset that I have and it shows because that's literally what I do. It can't be to the, it can't be an if about what it is. It can't be a doubt about what it is. It has to be either you're going to do it or you're not. Either you're confident or you're not. You get what I'm saying? Confident or you're weak. Confident or you're scared. You walking around frigid and timid, you know what I'm saying, and submissive like a man. Somebody gonna punch you in your chest and you're not gonna be able to do nothing because you don't have no confidence. How can you, if you get in a fight, if you're not confident in yourself, how are you gonna win that fight? Confidence is everything. You look at these fighters, you think obviously they scared, but they do it anyway. It's not to the extent that you're scared, but your confidence must outweigh the fear that you have because you trust and believe in yourself because you have faith in God that you will be taken care of, that you will be shown the way. But a lot of y'all are just scared. A lot of y'all don't have no faith. A lot of y'all just really don't believe in yourself. And it shows in your life, bro. It shows in the results that you obtain because you don't have any type of self-belief in yourself. Because you don't have any self-confidence at all. So you walk around scared. You walk around asking for handouts. You walk around complaining. You walk around not accountable for your actions. And you're not going to get anywhere in life like that. You're going to stay right where you at. Start getting in the gym, bro. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be quick. But you must do be consistent. Why do we have a problem with consistency? You have to be consistent. You have to really reprogram your mindset. Get out of this weak mindset, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do some type of physical labor. Lift something up every day. Do some squats and push-ups every single day. Start eating more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Start watching things that are more masculine. Stop watching all this entertainment, funny stuff, and start watching people fight or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Start watching, like, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, bro, I used to watch Animal Planet with my papa. We watching, like, bears fighting, lions fighting, just, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff, bro. Watch something masculine in your life. Stop watching all this netflix gossips and all this type of celebrity news and nobody cares about all that bro you know what i'm saying you got to get some type of masculinity within yourself you got to start doing masculine things you got to start embodying confidence within yourself to the point where you feel like you can just do anything in, in life not like you can just do anything by yourself or you know what i'm saying not like there's you know what i'm saying like like you're just gonna have handouts or you're just invincible but it ha you have to be real with yourself bro you have to you have to have confidence confidence gets you a long way you know what i'm saying why do women want why do women want this certain type of dude? Because he knows that he can get hurt. Because he just knows, because he you can look in his life and tell that he don't care. He go out, he just do what he want. He go out, he just dominate. Then you look at the man who's scared. You look at the man, you know what I'm saying, who's timid. You look at the man who's out of shape. You look at the man who's too skinny. You look at the man who's fat. You look at the man that's broke. And you look at his mindset. And you see why he don't have no women, no money, the physique that he has. Because he has no confidence in himself. Because he doesn't believe that he can get the physique that he wants. Because he doesn't believe that he can get the amount of women that he wants or the quality of women that he wants. Because he doesn't believe that he can make the amount of money that he wants. There is no confidence within him. It's just lack. It's just lack of self-belief. It's lack of confidence. He don't trust in himself. He'd be like, oh, if he can do it, he, he don't look at it like, if he can do it, I can do it. He'd look at, if he can do it, I, I don't know if I can do it. And that's why he don't have no women. That's why he's broke. That's why he's out of shape. That's why he's fat. You know what I'm saying? You have to look at things and you have to be like, man, if I put my mind to this, bro, there's no way I can do it. I look at certain things like I look, I would literally tell people that I can do anything. I, you will never hear me say that I'm broke. I don't care what type of circumstance I'm living in. I will always say that I'm going to be financially blessed. You will, I will, if, I, if I tell my bro, I'll be talking to my bro. They are the same way. We all have the mindset of if we put our mind to it, we can do anything. You're supposed to have people that are this, this type of mindset, bro. You know what I'm saying? You are who you are. hang around. You're supposed to hang around people that feel like they can do anything supposed to hang around people that if you need some help or if you need some motivation that they're going to motivate you and enhance you and uplift you y'all hang around people that talk down on you behind your back that you you hang around other weak dudes you know what i'm saying you hang around simps what is your problem you're going to slowly but surely you're going to become a product of these people that you're hanging around so even to a step further your bro should be motivating you your bro should be telling you to get in the gym you shouldn't be going to the gym by yourself every day you should be going to the gym with homeboys y'all should be pushing each other motivating each other you know what i'm saying Y'all be so avoiding conflict and conversation because you're scared because there is no confidence. You don't believe in yourself. If you get in the gym and you start looking better, you gonna walk around the you gonna walk around life like you're dominating. You gonna look at this woman like, bro, I will. You know what I'm saying? I would really do you something. I will mess your life up if you, you know what I'm saying. Give me the time of day. If I decide to give you the time of day, bro, I will change your life. 
That's how you got to walk around life. If somebody playing with you, you have you supposed to look at these people like he will destroy them. You know what I'm saying? Not like you supposed to look at the you supposed to look at these people that are successful in life. You supposed to have the confidence in yourself that I can and will be able to live the type of lifestyle that they live in. Not oh, why is it taking so longer? Oh, why I didn't got the life? You shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let's talk and go start putting some work in. When you start being consistent in the work that you were putting in, you're going to see the results. And the results is going to boost the confidence. And the confidence is going to have you going out. And you're going to be dominating. It's going to make things easier for you. It's going to become second nature. When you're scared, when you're down yourself, when you never have the initiative to do things that you know you're supposed to be doing. You can't expect no results. You can't expect no women. You can't expect no money. You can't expect none of that. You can't expect no blessings. You can't expect nothing. But you got to be willing to look, in the, look yourself in the mirror every single day. Tell yourself, I am a god. I am a king. I am unstoppable. I am immortal. If I put my mind to it, I can do it. I have faith and trust in God that I will always be on my own divine path. When I stay in my lane and I do what I'm supposed to do and I provide service and I have the faith and trust in God, I will always be taken care of. But I, when you have confidence in yourself and faith in yourself, you have confidence. I mean, when you have confidence and faith in God, you will have confidence and faith in yourself. When you have confidence and faith in God, you have confidence and faith in the unseen. Simple as that. You have to understand how to really just become the best version of yourself when it starts on the inside. You have to start believing in yourself. You have to start dominating your life. You have to start taking life more serious. You play games all day and you laugh and joke all day as if life is a game, as if you, as if time is not ticking. You have to be getting to the money. You have to be getting to the gains. You have to be getting to digging these women out. You have to be getting on your purpose. You, have, you know what I'm saying? You're not trying to waste time and complain and none of that, bro. Self-confidence. Self-confidence is what's going to take you there. Self-confidence is what's going to lift that weight up. Self-confidence is what's going to dig her out. Self-confidence is what's going to stand up for yourself and provide for your people and take care of your people and take care of yourself. Self-confidence. So you must look yourself in the mirror and say, I am a God. Literally, I am a God. I am unstoppable. I am a threat. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I literally, I swear, I kid you not, bro. When I'm in the gym, I feel like a threat. When I leave the gym, I feel like a threat. You know what I'm saying? You, that's how you're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel like you're a threat. You're supposed to feel like you're unstoppable. You're supposed to feel like can't nobody mess with you. Not to the point where you're so egotistical and big-headed that you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It has to be within reason. It has to be within, you know what I'm saying? You have to find that middle way. You don't want to be too big-headed or nothing like that. But you don't want to be, I would rather you be so big-headed, you got the biggest ego on the planet, than you act like this simple little girl that can't, you know what I'm saying, that everybody step over. You know what I'm saying? But when you meet it in the middle, it's like, it's like, it's like you really don't even want to meet it in the middle, bro. You want to just be a man. You want to just dominate. You want to just be a guy. That's all you really want to do. You don't want to because it's like, bro. If you you gotta look in your you gotta really look in your circle too. If you, look at who the weakest link is, find ways that you can improve, find ways. To, you need to talk to this man. Find ways that you know what I'm saying. Talk to him and be real with him. Stop letting it, you. He's your homeboy. You're supposed to be real with him. Stop letting him be weak because he's gonna weigh you down. He gonna make you look bad. Your homeboys, the people that you surround yourself with, when they in their day-to-day -day life, they are still representing you because they are your friends. So therefore, they're your homeboys, they're your brothers. You, if y'all really locked in like that, they represent you. So therefore, when y'all exactly like this, when I say they represent you, if 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 I'm if I'm in an environment and I'm by myself, but I hear somebody talking about my homeboy, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna say something because that's what I mean by represent. You see what I'm saying? That type of thing. But. If you got a homeboy on your team and somebody talking down on you and he weak and he scared, and he timid and he walk around, you know what I'm saying? Like a little girl, he not going to say nothing. He Or he might come back and tell you, oh, they was talking about you. And you ask him what he did. He, gonna say, he ain't going to have nothing to say. You have to assess your circle, but you got to assess yourself first. Are you that weakest link? You know what I'm saying? Are you the one that's always skipping the gym? Are you the one that's weak? Are you the one that lacks confidence? You don't believe in yourself? You the one that don't get no type of women? You the one that ain't got no money? You broke because you don't believe in yourself? Because you don't put no work in and you expect handouts? Are you that guy? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that guy. You want to walk around dominant. But it takes work. It takes consistency. It takes a certain mindset. Day in and day out, you have to wake up feeling like that man. Simple. Stop playing games with your life and stop expecting handouts and go out and take what's yours. Simple. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.